McWayne Ductile provides easy to follow installation instruction for the TR Flex fitting. Application of sound installation practices ensure optimal service of your water or wastewater line. Ensure the bell socket is clean. You may use various tools such as rags, wire brushes, screwdrivers, etc. to remove dirt or debris. Removal of any ice during cold temperature installation is of equal importance. Accessories, including gaskets, should be stored in a clean, dry environment with a heat of at least 40 degrees Fahrenheit during cold months. Position the retaining portion of the gasket matching the retainer groove inside the bell. The bulb or ceiling portion of the gasket will be secured just behind the retainer groove. Form a loop in the gasket for small diameter pipe. Two loops for pipe sizes beginning with the number 2 and three loops for pipe sizes starting with the number 3. Loops should be adjacent or spaced as evenly as possible. Press the loop and gasket into place. Pro tip, for large diameter installation, working the last loop around the inner surface of the bell will disperse tension in the gasket, enhancing installation and seal. Double check the gasket is secure and below the throat of the bell. Apply McWayne Ductile approved pipe lubricant to the entire inner surface of the gasket. You can obtain special lubricant from your McWayne Ductile representative for underwater or wet conditions. Clean the spigot end of the adjoining pipe using the same equipment used to clean the bell. Coat the entire outer surface of the spigot back to the weld ring with a thin layer of McWayne Ductile approved pipe lubricant. Do not allow the coated spigot end to touch any dirt or debris. Insert the spigot into the bell, centering the spigot inside the gasket. The new pipe is to be in straight alignment with the existing fitting. Position the slot opening according to the size of pipe and number of locking segments to be installed. This positioning will allow easy access when inserting the locks. Position nylon straps at adjacent locations around the TR Flex fitting and also around the barrel of the pipe. Connect the straps using come alongs. Ratchet the fitting onto the spigot. A feeler gauge may not be used to verify the assembly of the joint. Maintain pressure until the locks and rubber retainer have been properly installed. Insert the red locking segment and rotate to the right. Insert the black locking segment and rotate to the left. Insert the rubber retainer with the ends pointed in. Repeat locking segment installation for large diameter fittings. For above ground applications, trim the rubber retainer to a length approximately 1 8 of an inch beyond the space between the locking retainers. Insert the rubber retainer to the back of the socket. Pull the slack out of the joint to lock the restraint. The bell face will be beyond the two home lines on the spigot when the joint is properly assembled. Deflect the joint up to 5 degrees in any direction and backfill around the pipe and fitting to the project specifications. Do you know we provide job site product training? Contact your McWayne Ductile representative to learn more. For written step-by-step -step instructions for this installation procedure, Visit McWayne Ductile's online learning center at mcwayneductile.com.